In this short video I will show you how to design complete 3D junction in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013. In order to handle challenges such as type of junctions to consider, requirements for layout, drivability from a profile point of view, side distance requirement, drainage, etc., most junctions involve several iterations of design. The junction design feature in AutoCAD Civil 3D helps simplify the process of generating 3D junction models using a wizard-driven approach that only involves three major steps. The first step is to specify the intersection point of my center lines which opens dialog window where all required geometry parameters can be defined. I give this junction a name which may be important where many junctions exist in the drawing and select how intersecting roads transition. The second step is to define all the geometry of the junction. Many adjustments are available to the designer, including offset parameters, which allow creating road edges based on the center line alone, curb return parameters, lane slope parameters, and curb return profile parameters, which allow to automatically creating vertical alignments for curb return lines. A temporary graphic display helps identifying which parameters in is currently being adjusted. As corridors are created along one or more baseline alignments by placing a typical cross-section at incremental locations, a set of necessary assemblies can be selected in the last step and software will create those automatically. All necessary alignments, both horizontal and vertical, are created and complete 3D corridor model is inserted. To demonstrate that the solution is dynamic, let me change the location of one of the center lines. As you may observe, the corridor model shown on the right pane changes as well. Similarly, changes made to a vertical profile are reflected on the model. In this example, I created simple T-junction on residential road, so no widening of lanes is required. However, on major roads, turning lanes for incoming or out and outgoing roads can be automatically introduced as well. Keep in mind that once stored, the geometry of the junction becomes part of the model. The textures applied are driven by styles and can be changed at any point as well. When defining geometry for that junction, I decided to go 10 meters from the end of the curves, which resulted in short corridor within junction area only, but now, using editing grips, I can stretch the corridor to the extent of the scheme. Complete solution remains dynamic and every change made to any of the defining components is automatically reflected on the model.